Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, I'd like to go a little deeper into what we started with last week, and that's Onjin, and explore that a bit, a bit more. Go back over and check it out, and I'll explain in a second what I'm talking about here, because uh, some of you are just checking this out for the first time. But uh, and with that, there is two principles that uh, that are really key to any kind of of internal power or chin, and uh, those are Sung and Fong. And these are Chinese names, which I'll explain here in a second. So the uh, Sung is the quality of releasing into the intrinsic structure, releasing into your structure. So whatever, whatever you're doing, you're overriding the impulse to tense up and resist what's going on. So we humans are the beneficiaries of millions of years of evolution, which has taken us into a state which is tends to respond with muscular tension whenever challenged. And the challenge could be just like something you just heard on the, uh, on the news. It could be something that, you know, a text message you just got. It could be even something as simple as brushing your teeth or reaching for a cup of coffee. If there is, the program is so deep that it informs just about everything we do. That is, we tense up before we move. And even when we tell ourselves not to, even when we say, no, I'm gonna relax. And then the minute something unexpected happens, then there's this response that the, it kicks in at a very primitive, uh, as a primitive stress response. It cues the reptile brain and gets things jacked up. So, um, um, we're going to talk a little bit about, about Sung, which is the learning to release that muscular tension and learn to trust the underlying structure. So just as an aside, I just published a couple of blogs on uh, rickbarrett.net. You can check those out, which is talking about these things and um, particularly about Anjin, A-N, which is... Uh, we're going to get to it uh, shortly, and also some some stuff on, new stuff on YouTube about this as well, including the class from last week. So the uh, back to Sung. So Sung is so if I reach out my arm like this, there's a certain amount of muscular tension that goes involved with that unnecessary extraneous muscular tension. This is a very inefficient way to do what I just said, which is to lift my arm. But it happens to be the one that the default way that I'd say about 99% of all people that I've ever asked to do that go to. And that's because it's something we don't think about. It's an old pattern. It's a, it's a fixed response that we have that even if we tell ourselves not to, we're probably gonna do it. And that's because it is really deeply programmed into the nervous system. So learning to be sung. So if I do that same action, and if I do it in a way which is sung, it looks more like this, which is there's a, what am I doing? I'm finding the way to hold my arm that requires the least amount of muscular tension while still maintaining and even enhancing the effective power and movement of that arm. So doing it again, if I'm doing it, if I'm just reaching up and, and not thinking about it, there's that, that tension that goes in there. What that does is my, my shoulder tension then blocks the chi flow into my, into my arm and, and effectively kinks the hose so that that anything I do is going to cause a certain amount of internal conflict. 
and we can see this say like people who uh, get carpal tunnel from from typing or texting or whatever as because if they're tensing up their shoulders and then doing it there is extraneous tension in the in the arms and and the tendons rub against each other and and you eventually they wear out and you get these problems so but if you are sung and you do that that muscular tension disappears so what sung does is allows gets the the kinks out of the hose and allows the energy to flow freely which allows for more freedom of movement and also allows for more effective power. It, however, doesn't do the whole job because it's the yin side, it's the, it's the release side, which is great and it absolutely vital for what we're trying to do. Without sung, nothing's happening. But if, it's, if you're just sung, if you're just releasing, then you know, it's kind of limp. You're just, there you are. You know, things are, you know, if you want that effect of power that I, that you can have from here, there's another quality. And the Chinese name for it is Fong, F-A-N-G. And Fong means a reaching or an extension. And to that, I like to add, it's like a, a reaching to connect. So the idea is not just to, to stick your arm out, but you're, oh, you're, you're extending as if to connect to something. There's an intention there to, ah, you're, there's life in this, in this movement. It's not just a dead hand out there. It's like, no, no, it's reaching. It's reaching out there. Even if you're just reaching to the empty space, doesn't matter what you're reaching toward. If I if I have this hand here and I reach out and do it, there's an intent an intention there to connect with my wrist. My right hand is reaching for my left hand. So there's this quality of reaching there, which what that does, that Fong does, it activates your connective tissue system. And which is always working you know, anyway, but it enhances and engages it in a way which creates more tensegrity within the system. The tensegrity is the quality that ties it all together. There's a, you know, the connective tissue system is, has been called the living matrix because it connects to every cell in your body. And it is this, spider web that extends throughout the whole system and covering all the muscles and nerves and and uh, blood vessels and everything like that but also going into each cell and as such it, it creates this this internal tension and uh, and a different meaning of the term from muscular tension it's a it's there is a connection there that binds this whole system together. Otherwise, you're a pool of about 70 trillion cells, which is kind of spilling out all over the floor without that, that tensegrity. The fact that you're, you're, you're engaging this, it allows you to assume a shape. And that's kind of cool because we kind of like need that in order to be alive. So the other aspect of it is that the connective tissue, tissue system, once that's engaged like that, it allows for energy and information to travel throughout your body mind much faster. So we got this Fong, we got Sung. The two of them work together. They are partners. What Sung does establishes the structure, establishes the foundation. Fong says, reaching out. It extends from that. So that is the yang aspect, the extending part. And we see that in every Taiji movement, we see this interplay of Fong and Sung, which is when it's done mindfully, when it's done intentionally, then we get cool stuff. We get that internal power or Jin, J-I-N. And being able to access your Jin 
is the key to all the cool woo-woo stuff that we do in Tai Chi Tran. But you don't have to do it a thousand years in order to be able to access it. You can get it right now. You can get it. And it doesn't mean you're going to do it great. It takes practice to be able to shift, to rewire your nervous system from the stimulus response machine that it has been and to learn it, turn it into an intentional, mindful creature that is able to, to control all these uh, levers and pulleys and do it all at once, being able to, uh, to engage all these systems at once and to do a pretty fair job of it. And the more mindfulness, the more intentionality we can bring into this, the more we can expand our range of control so that we can learn to do more cool stuff. And that enables us to, to get healthier, it enables us to be more confident in our, in our bodies, more comfortable in our own skin. The more you're able to control your, your, the way that your body relates to the world around it, to your environment, but also internally to the, your internal environment. So let's um, let's uh, start by uh, just standing up, and I want to uh, we'll do get the establish the three pillars of body, mind, spirit integration, and then we're going to we're going to explore the Fong and Sung, and just see how that how that can be brought into everything that we're doing. Okay, and then this is the the foundation of Jin of that internal power. Okay, step out. About a hip width. So, first thing you want to establish is your relationship to the earth through the balls of your feet. So, we ordinarily stand with our weight in our heels. And this way, we're actually going to create a more of a dynamic engagement with the earth by feeling the weight over the balls of the feet, the knees are unlocked. So it's as if you're, think of it as like standing on the edge of a diving board. You know, if you're on the diving board, you're not back in your heels. You want to be like, you're ready to go. So that's, your knees are unlocked. You feel that connection through the balls of your feet. Reach with the crown of your head. And then tuck in your chin. And by doing this, you're lengthening your neck. You're opening up the area below your skull, right there at the topmost vertebra. Your, you know, what the Chinese call the jade pillow gate. So we're opening the jade pillow gate, which then allows for more energy to pass, to connect up. And it does a whole bunch of other stuff, which I've covered on in other, other classes, but we're going to just, just feel into that, reaching with the crown of the head as if you're gonna to touch the ceiling with the crown of your head. Now, feel you're like you're pushing away from the earth, actually do it. Just Push away from the earth as if you're going to push your head up to the ceiling. And then ah, release down and sink into your legs. So this is the quality of sung. You're feeling that release down there. 
Do that again, push away. And then uh, settle down in. So we've gone from the yang push away down to the yin release. And this is where we're trusting our structure. Relax your lower back and allow your sacrum to drop. So flattening out your lumbar area a bit. And so we're creating a connection, but also an opposition between the crown of your head and your tailbone. Reach with your elbows so that you're unlocking your shoulders. Point and reach with your index fingers and feel the energetic coherence that gets produced on that. It also creates this tensegrity. It act activates your connective tissue system. Your arms reach out a little bit. Your arms are slightly rounded. Again, push away from the earth and sink and relax. Just feel in your hands. Notice the increase in energy there. You may notice tingling, pulsing, heat, a sense of fullness. Where by unlocking, un unkinking the hose, we're creating more energy flow, and you're going to feel that in your hands. Continue to feel the balls of your feet touching the floor. The weight is spread throughout the foot, but you're particularly emphasizing the balls. Sink into your right, le your left leg, turn your right foot out at 45, then feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, okay, and then Push away from the earth with your right leg and then uh, release down and sink down into that right leg. So you're loading up. You want to just really feel yourself filling up the right leg and pick up the left heel. So you're, you're really sung in that right leg. Everything is just kind of down. You're feeling that. Do that again. Push away from the earth. Come up and release and spiral down. And as you do that, notice that you're, you're learning to trust that leg a little more. And then you can step forward with your left foot, place that down without shifting any weight into it. You're feeling that power. So this is sung, we're sung now with that. And now feel the ball of the left foot and push your left knee forward and push away, come up, and then ah, uh, sink down into the left leg. So now we're very soon in the front leg. R front leg has become very substantial. Bow forward slightly and then feel your elbows. Reach with that and Reach out and carry. Feel, the, feel the, the weight of your arms. Feel yourself moving through space. You're reaching. Rotate your forearms and reach forward with your hand. So feel that this is the Fong idea. So we're reaching out and feel that that extension there, feel it between your shoulder blades. Now, sink in that front leg and press down. You feel the resistance of the space as you're moving through it.
Carrie. Screech. Now feel the ball of your right foot, your back foot. Set the right knee and push away, coming up and then sink uh, into that right leg. So now your weight is primarily in your back leg. Now press down. Feel the ball of the right foot, push your right knee forward, push away. Sink into that right leg, or left leg, I'm sorry, so the left leg, your front leg, and then coming up with the hands, feel the weight, relax. So what's happening here, the arms are soon. They're releasing and trusting the, the structure to do the job, rotate and reach out. So there's this extension. Feel the extension, the fong. But also feel yourself sinking into the earth. And then that's the sung. So these two are feeding each other. The yang extension, the yin support. Feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, push away, coming up and sink. And as you do that, you're pressing down. Step back and put in, take a deep breath and disappear the chi. Just throw it away, clear, hands come down. Feel yourself sinking and releasing and emptying out. Good. Please take a seat. How'd that go, Natalie? Were you able to follow that? Yeah, that was great. Thank you. Wonderful. Good, good. Um, cool. Any questions, anybody? Any uh, problems with any of that? So that's a ba real basic kind of fong and sung. So it it's there in every kind of jin. And, you know, if we talk about jin as an expression of internal power, there are lots of ways to express jin. And what we're talking about with Jin is that we're taking our chi, our energy, and we're directing it through the body and um, to express. And this is mindful. It's, it's there's an intentionality there. We're intentionally doing this. So the the Jin follows the pathway of what the Chinese call the E or the you know, the intentional mind, the in, intentional mindfulness, the E, and say it, it follows the direction that the, that the E is able to, uh, to do it. So the E is spelled Y-I. So the E leads the Chi, and the Chi expresses through the body. Now, Previously, I, I talked about the distinction between Li, which is muscular force, 
and Chen, which is this combination of body and energy. And the uh, character for Jin, according to uh, Dr. Yang Jing Ming, he says that it's a combination of qi and li. So that is that you are combining muscular force with energy. And there's a, you can go from a whole lot of, of muscle to a whole lot of energy. And there's a, a spectrum of what's the ratio? And that's gonna vary depending on your circumstances, what conditions you're meeting. The same amount of energy is not going to, energy uh, leave the same ratio is not gonna work in every situation. You know, what may, if you can just do a, a Jedi trick and send someone flying with a, with a flick of your wrist, that will work under certain circumstances. Other situations, not so much. And so you have to, part of our Kung Fu, our training is learning to say how much, how much muscle is needed to get the job done, how much, how much energy. So the energy, the E concentrates the energy. It takes the virtually infinite energy that you can, you can consider, you know, in the universe and saying, no, no, we're going to pack it into a small container and then direct it in a certain way. That's how we, that's how we use that to make something cool happen. So we're using our E, our wisdom mind, our intentionality to, to direct the chi through the body and express it. So there are lots of ways to express it. You can think of spiraling gin, which is kind of a, mm, kind of like that. There's kind of a, a breaking gin, which kind of interrupts and, and, and says a shock wave. There's, uh, uh, there's um, uh, sticky gin, sticky gin is a good one. So you're, you're actually making contact and using your gin as a yin kind of, it kind of sucks, it attaches stickers to your, your partner and you're able to do that. So there's lots of different kinds of gin, but the four basic ones in Tai Chi are, are expressed in, in ward off, roll back, press and push. The fourth of those is, is, is push. And it's kind of a misnomer because when we think of push, just about everybody I've ever met you, say push me, they're immediately going to engage that stress response. They're going to uh, they're going to tense up and try to push you with their shoulder with with you know with the, their muscular force. A whole lot of Lee, very little chi, very little mind intent in, involved in that. So but what we're talking about in in developing the push in and, and Tai Chi Chuan is something which is quite a bit different. So rather than thinking shoving away, which is the quality that it comes to mind for, for most people when they think of pushing is a disconnect. This is actually a connection. You're actually, ah, you're making contact and engaging in a partnership with the person you're you're, you're, you're pushing and that put, so that's why pushing becomes a, a, a difficult word because it triggers a, a primitive response, a stress response. So we wanna kind of get away from that. So the energy that animates this is called on, A-N. Um, William C.C. Chen, uh, my Tai Chi teacher, he, uh, he called it uh, the push of no push. So it's his uh, kind of a paradoxical way of talking about it, but it's just like you, you have to get away from the, your mind's idea of what a push would look like, a shove, you know, and it becomes something where you are, it looks and even might feel like you're doing nothing. When in actual fact you're doing a whole lot, but it you know it's it 
your mind is saying, but I didn't do anything because it becomes it's so subtle. What it's like is a is like a wave. Like um, you're feeling like you're in the ocean and and oh, you're the wave is 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 knocking you over. So I just got whoosh, it comes in there and, and it knocks you over. And that's and that's kind of the feeling of it. And then you look and you say the wave, but there's, you know, it's just water. It's not, the wave itself is invisible. The water is, is the medium through which the wave is, is passing. So the, it's, that's what we're getting to with this. So we're getting into Anjin. We're learning how to combine Sung with Fong to be able to create this wave. Okay, um, any questions so far? We'll get up and do it in a second here. Everybody good? Oh, Valerie. Okay, this isn't a question, but I've never heard you, I have never heard you, perhaps you've said this before, um, the wave, it, you know, you don't see the wave, the water is just, transferring that energy that's brilliant <laughs> that is brilliant it's just sorry i just <laughs> i love uh, that description i loved it. It, it it's just water but the wave is is, is it's something happening to the water right it's it's yeah. a it, there, there's it's it's an insubstantial thing that is creating a substantial effect which is what we're trying to do with our gins we're trying to use this really insubstantial quality to create a very substantial effect. And hence the push of no push. Uh, Peter, Great. You're, you're on mute, Peter. Uh, this is sort of a question. When you were demonstrating, you know, uh, the, the variety of, of uh, kinds of gin, you know, there was, there was the, um, the breaking gin, and I forgot the other one. But, spiraling, uh, spiraling, yeah, sticky. And you kind of, yeah, you kind of, you you dramatized it, and what came through was the notion that that the variety of gin, the gin is not just a variety of dynamic quality; it also has kind of attitude and um, uh, right. and perhaps character, and that yes. strikes me as as a very significant notion that the that the gin, that you know, that 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 uh, you know, the operating force in Tai Chi, in life, uh, that the 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 gin itself has, you know, I, I wouldn't go so far as to say personality, but that it has um, attitude, a variety of attitude and character. That strikes me as very significant. Does that seem on the right path? I, I think so. I, I, I think you could you could say personality. You could you could kind of you know humanize it to that degree. You can, you can say that because it is being directed by your intentionality. So it's gonna have whatever quality you endow it with, right? So if it's a a fogin, which is an explosive outputting of energy, you know, there's a boom, you know, kind of a kind of thing. And it just comes out as a, as, as a rocket, you know, it just, and there's an explosion there, you know, whereas a Ting Jin is a listening quality, right? It's like, oh, you're just, you're feeling, you're hearing with your hands, you know, you're, you're listening. And so that you're, you're gathering in for very yin, right? It's a very receptive quality, but it's a Jin. And you know, the sticky gin is a very, you know, it's, it's, it feels a little creepy whenever you first have it done to you. It's like, eh, you know, it, 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 almost vampiric, you know, it's kind of, ah, you know, it's something is, something is reaching inside of me and, and sucking my energy out kind of a feeling, but it's, it has a quality to it, a personality. So yes, you're, I think you're, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, a, a nice way to think about it, I think. Thank you, Peter. Okay, so let's uh, let's uh, stand up and we'll uh, play around with this a little bit. So, you know, the uh, 
for a long time, my push in my Tai Chi form looked something like this, going from a press and going into like that, right? That was, that was how I did it, boom, boom, like that. And it was empty. It had no juice whatsoever. You know, but it was just, oh, okay, here we are. We're just gone. We're pushing along here. And oh yeah. And it that was the way I learned how to do my form. And I did that way for way too long. And then you get in a situation where, you know, like say you're I when I was doing competitions, push hands competitions, and yeah, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna push. And like it's not working. Why? Because I had neither. Lee nor Chi in that in that motion. It was just kind of limp. It was empty. And consequently, you know, then you get into, okay, I'm gonna have to use Lee. I'm gonna uh, then you get in there and you're pushing using your muscles. And that's a step up from emptiness. It's a step up from doing nothing with it. So now we've taken the first part of the gin formula, which is the Lee part, the muscular activity, and then we gradually get more comfortable with less muscle and more of this fong, and we move into more of the chi part. So we uh, we then create something where you can get some internal power with that simple movement. So um, one way one way to visualize this uh, is the Anjin. And I first, I really, it, the, the idea clicked for me, I think when I started to do the Yang Cheng Fu 13 original postures and, and the, the push in that form looks something like this. So this is kind of the format we're gonna be following here. Boom, like that, okay? So what that is, is, um, imagine with me that I'm standing in a swimming pool, okay? And I got the ball, my beach ball here, and it's floating on the surface. And so I'm going to retreat and press down on the beach ball down into the water, okay? The deeper I go, the more the water is pushing back. So I'm sinking down and I'm using my sinking to bring the ball down. And it's, it's, I'm encountering the resistance of the water, which is fine. So then I come forward, sewing into that front leg and whoosh, the water pressure then shoots the ball out. So a similar kind of idea here with the Anjin. Okay, it's it's a watery, it's like a watery element. That is, you're pressing down, and that wave comes because we've what we've compressed this down, and then we allow it to to shoot out. So in this case. We have um, the, we're going to come in, sink, press down into the water, sink, load up here. And we're gonna, the lower half of the body is gonna stay sung, whereas the arms then release outward. So they, they become fong, they're reaching. And that reaching connects up the whole system, the connective tissue system. And we get this structure, which not only supports my movement with tensile strength, but it also allows this incredible flow of energy to come through it. So we're going to, uh, Put your right foot forward. Okay, so you're going, we're just going to do the legs first. We're going to, and this is the way we're practicing it. Okay, this is, we want to move in, in, in a direction which 
takes away some of the, the, uh, the bigness of it. But we're going to practice it big and we're going to practice it doing things which develop certain energies, okay? So we're going to develop the, the sung by what? We're going, to, we're going to feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, and push away. So that, that means we're going to create this, we're going to, this opposition to the earth exactly the opposite of what we want to get to and but by doing that what we're doing is we're tricking the body mind to get out of holding that muscular tension tight because now we're going to uh we're going to release down into that left leg so now we are trusting the left leg because we are soon we've retreated into the structure now we feel the ball of the right foot push the right knee forward and push away and sink into that right leg. So what do we do? We got, we got lower. We eventually we're going to wean ourselves off of the pushing away part, but this is helpful as a shortcut to getting you to recognize what that means to be sung in your, in your hip, your qua. Okay. So feel the ball of the left foot, Set the left knee, push away, coming up. You're loading up that left quad, that left leg, and then sink. Uh, you're releasing down, sung. So I want you to really get comfortable, familiar, solid in this, because this is what, this is the foundation. Without the foundation, nothing works. So feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, push away, and sung. Okay, so here we are again, we're, we're assuming that. So just feel it, bring your arms out like this and just feel into your hands and notice that you got a lot of chi happening in your hands. So we're creating this, this energy and we're creating a fullness in the whole structure. Okay, so now bring your arms up just like we did before, reaching very soon, remember? Kind of, it's not like this, it's ah, very relaxed. You're reaching with your wrist, reach with the fingers. Feel that, so we have fong. Feel that reaching, feel, reach, you're opening the space between your shoulder blades, reach with your elbows and feel that extension there. Okay, now, Feel the ball of your left foot, set your left knee, push away with your left leg. You're coming up. And as you do that, your hands are coming back and they begin to press down. You're pressing that, that beach ball down into the water as you're doing this and you sink into that left leg and feel yourself pushing that ball down. Feel the resistance. It's like the air is the air pressure is pushing up as you're pushing that beach ball down. Feel that, just feel the, feel the pressure there, feel that building up as you're sung. We're gathering the energy. So we're using our E, our, our intentional mind to concentrate the energy. We're allowing that to funnel into a very narrow space that, that we're going to use to direct it. Now feel the ball of the right foot, push your right knee forward, come up a little bit, push away with your right leg and then ah, sink down into that right quad. Okay, so just feel yourself loading up in that right, right leg. Okay, you're loading up your, getting very, very sung in that right leg. Now, feel your elbows, reach with your wrists, reach with your fingers, extend outward, fong, relax your shoulders. That's anjin. Feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, Push away, coming up, 
pressing down with the hands, reach down with the elbows. So you feel yourself, your, your hands are actually, you're not pushing down with the elbow, the hands more just pulling down with the elbows and the hands are expressing that. You're sinking into your left leg. You're sinking down, the hands pressing down. Feel the chi in your hands. It should be lighting up now. We're gathering the chi. We're gathering. The, we're creating that that pressure there, that chi pressure, which then allows us to then feel the ball of the right foot push forward, set the right knee, push away and sink into that right claw, and feel yourself very loaded very stable in your right leg. Reach, arms are relaxed. So here, distinct from the form I showed you before, my before photo, the arms, even though they're very relaxed, they are full of gin. They're expressing gin. So just like that soft water at the beach there, it's expressing a wave. The wave is going through your body, through the Lee, and it is directed where your E is telling it to go. Okay, now this time we're not gonna push away with the, with the, the leg to get the stab it's our soon. We're gonna start to get into that. So feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee and don't push away this time, but just feel yourself sinking into that left leg. Okay, you feel your left quad pressing down, reaching down with your elbows. Feel that right ball, set the right knee, push your knee forward, set that and sink into your right leg. Okay, and reach. Fong. Can you do that once in a side view? Sure. Do it this way. Okay, here we go. Side view. Okay, we're out here. So feel the ball of the left foot. Set the left knee and sink into your left qual. As you do that, you're reaching down with your elbows. Notice that. I'm not rocking back like this. I'm not all the way back. I'm just sitting down so my weight is down over the ball of my, my left foot. So I'm reaching down with the elbows, pressing down with the hands. That beach ball is, is here. I'm pushing down the wire. I'm feeling the resistance there. Loading up, feel the ball of the right foot. Push the right knee forward and uh, release down into the right quad. Your right leg, you're loading that up and reach. Left ball, set the left knee, sink, pressing down, reaching down with the elbows, feeling the resistance. Sung, right ball, set the right knee, release the quad, sink, sung, right leg and fong, reach. Come down, pivot on your right heel, step in, take a deep breath, and disappear the chi. Please take a seat. We threw you into the deep end of the pool there, Natalie. I hope you didn't mind. Oh no, it was wonderful. I really enjoyed it. I think that it's that really, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it was very helpful. You got, uh, you got an experience that very few people 
get after decades of Taiji. So that uh, so that's uh, <laughs> it's a good I'll night to come. Working on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good. So uh, uh, anybody, Scott. So uh, as we're doing this, you know, my thighs were screaming a little bit, and I realized that I'm, you know, I was pushing against that instead of just letting it just, you know, because I was saying in my head, I, my legs shouldn't be bothering me. I, I, my legs are in shape, but my legs shouldn't be bothering me. And then I realized, well, I should just be like, you know, just allow this. If they're going to bother me, they're going to bother me. And uh, I never been more sung in my legs wow wonderful wonderful that, yeah. that, that, that's that's brilliant what what you observed there because that's something that everybody has to go through you've got it because th that is built into our dna that need to tense up and resist and to train to get sung and to trust the sung it's uh it, it it's not natural it's a, <laughs> it's something you have to you have to learn to do Valerie. It's, I'm not, not sure if I'm going to, you know, have the right words for this, but um, with the phone, uh, it's, it's almost very muscular. It's almost very muscular. My brain wants to feel that and say that's muscular when it's not. I mean, I know what I'm doing and I know really what's going on and even though my brain wants to go okay that's muscle that's what you're doing it, it's it's funny how the the brain wants to label things differently than what's actually happening so and it was it was very cool to feel the difference you know between what was going on in the feet you know connecting to the the ground to the earth and the legs and then the claw and then what was going on in the upper body it was very nice. Very nice. Very well done. Very well done. Thank you. 